guy is doing accelerated telomere shortening. So he, he just does these things, boom, and three fall off instead of one. That's why some people, when they're 40, they look like they're 70 because they have very short telomeres because they've been doing these, these activities that will cause problems. This is basal. You know, that's the, the, the standard. And then there's the accelerated one. So how do we prevent telomere shortening? Actually, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But the interesting way, there's another little variable in here which has to do with your reproductive cells. Because guess what? Your reproductive cells do not age. Otherwise, when you have a child, you'll be a born adult. They don't age. Why don't they age? They have a gene called telomerase, which rebuilds, puts those telomeres back together. This telomerase is an enzyme that lengthens your tel telomeres. And this is a nice little graphic going to exactly show what happens. So this guy goes along, this is your basal cell, basal telomere shortening that typically comes, falls off, and telomerase, of course she's going to be a female, right? Because that's the sweetness in life, right? It just continues to make things much better. So the female angel telomerase comes by and repairs the damage. That's what telomerase does. It makes the cells, telomeres, longer. Remember, when you get down to 5,000, you are dead. Okay? So this only recurs in our reproductive cells. So the newest research, Dr. Andrews is one of the leading scientists in this area, is to find therapies or processes that will actually cause telomerase to work in somatic cells. So they don't produce telomerase. The gene is shut off. It's actually there. It's actually there. It works. But it's repressed. So let's show you how that works. Telomerase gene normally works. This would be a, an example of a cell within the reproductive system. And then in the somatic cells, our normal body cells, you see this uh, orange block over the regulatory element, and the telomerase gene is gets shut off. It's a repressor. So the... the key is to use an anti-repressor drug which will shut it off and allow the telomerase to turn back on. Now, interestingly, these are anti-aging drugs, the true anti-aging drugs, in the truest sense, because in vitro, there's not really any good animal studies yet, but in vitro, in this test tube, they can take cells of like an 80-year-old rat equivalent, skin cells, and convert it to an infant skin cell. Literally reverse aging in every parameter measured. It's just astounding to think that's even possible. So not only do you slow down aging, you can actually reverse it. And, you know, science development, I mean, Moore's Law is an incredible law. You know, is, it, is anyone familiar with Moore's Law? You know, it comes from the technology field. Uh, Gordon Moore was a founder of Intel, the microprocessor company. And he actually didn't come up with it, a, a journalist, media journalist, tech, tech journalist did. And the, the law is that, at least in when it was first developed, is that the technology develops or doubles every two years and the cost goes down by half. That's why you can have a, a microchip in your cell phone that is more powerful than all the computers that existed in 1970. That's a powerful law. So we can apply this to biology, you can get amazing things happening. Let me give you the factors that you can all address that will, that you can all implement that will address those telomerase shortening acceleration factors so, so that will increase it faster than normal.